Now let me explain here. In most casino games, okay, when you go into the casino, they're in business for profit and the odds are stacked against you and you are playing according to luck. Okay, so when someone pulls a slot machine lever, they are not in control of what's gonna happen in the outcome. There's no skill involved. They can't improve their odds over time by pulling the lever differently. Hey everybody, this is John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle and today we're going to talk about probabilities and playing with the odds in your favor, okay? Now I'm a very analytical guy, very systematic guy, very mathematical guy and I took a lot of these principles from poker and also from chess and from real-time strategy games like StarCraft and I applied them to game, okay? But something funny happened last night that I wanted to go over with you guys and then talk about how it relates to game and probabilities, okay? So before we continue, make sure you press the subscribe button below if you haven't already. Press the notification bell so you can get alerted to my new five videos every week, as well as my YouTube Live every Sunday. Okay, so let's start off. What happened last night, okay? I ended up going to the casino in Warsaw for the first time, okay? I mentioned in other videos how I used to be a professional poker player. I used to make a bunch of money playing in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas and in the online platforms, okay? Now, poker is a game of skill, just like pickup and game and seduction. Okay, what does that mean? That means that you can win in the long run consistently if your skill is high enough. Now let me explain here. In most casino games, okay, when you go into the casino, they're in business for profit and the odds are stacked against you and you are playing according to luck. Okay, so when someone pulls a slot machine lever and all this random shit happens, they are not in control of what's gonna happen in the outcome. There's no skill involved. They can't improve their odds over time by pulling the lever differently. Okay, so like the dumbest person and the smartest person in the entire world are gonna have equally losing odds when they pull that lever, as well as a machine would or any, anything else that's pulling that lever, it's gonna have losing odds. What happens is there's these intermittent dopamine rewards, so that once in a while they hit a jackpot or they hit some kind of winnings, and there's all these lights and sounds and the person gets this like rush of pleasure, and they don't know when it's coming, so they like are just addicted and playing this thing until they hit it once in a while, and, and when someone else wins, they get like kind of the same rush, but it's not, attributed to them directly, but they see someone else win and it's just all this frenzy going on, all right? But everyone is going to lose in the long run. Like I've seen in these casinos, there's like slot machine tournaments and people are all pulling the levers and it's, it's like a whole random thing. It's like a computer simulation. It's like one person could win one day and, and there's no skill involved. Like they're literally just a person pulling a lever and it's, it's like if it's completely random, all right? <laughs> so it's ridiculous to talk about the notion of a tournament with a slot machine. Okay, so back to poker. Poker is the only game in the casino where you're against other players, okay, instead of against the house. You're not against the casino. In all these other games, it's stacked against you, so you will lose. Now, how does the casino make money on Texas Hold'em Poker? They make money by raking the pot, all right? So you can keep winning and winning and winning and make a whole bunch of money over time, but the casino is going to take their little cut, all right? It's like a little tax on your winnings, but it doesn't really matter because you can outmatch people with skill. So tying this into what happened last night, I went into the casino in Warsaw, and I was like, do you guys have Texas Hold'em poker? All right, and they were like, no. And they only had regular poker and a bunch of other games, most of which, all of which, had the odds stacked against you. But I was with a girl and she wanted to have fun. We're having some drinks, right? There's like a nice atmosphere in there. So I went to plan B when I can't play Texas Hold'em poker and I usually can consistently win in the long run. I decided to play roulette. Now roulette, okay, without getting into all the details of how the game works, you can just bet on red or just on black, okay? And it gives you close to a 50% chance. It doesn't give you an exact 50% chance because there's the green spaces it can land on as well. So the house has a slight advantage, okay? But you're getting like, I don't know the exact thing, I didn't look it up, but it's like 45%, okay? But the thing is, you can do a strategy where you bet X amount, okay? So let's say you bet X amount, right? Now, let's say you lose. Let's say, so you had a 45% chance, the thing lands on the 55% chance advantage, and you lose, okay? So now you lost all that money. What you can do is you can double your bet, all right? So now you're betting twice the amount. And then what happens is if you win, you basically win the original amount that you bet on, all right? So let's say you bet $500, okay, on the first bet. If you lose, 
then you can bet $1,000. Okay, now if you win, you're gonna double your $1,000. Okay, so now you're getting 1,000 and you lost that 500 the first time, so you gain 500, okay? So without getting too complicated, the way this strategy works is you play like one to four rounds, okay? You have to keep in mind the table maximum. They put a table maximum bet, so you can't do this forever, otherwise it would be an unbeatable strategy. So let's say you put down 500, okay? And you bet on red. It hits red, if you hit it, you walk away. Okay, now you've just made 500 bucks. Let's say you bet red, it hits black. Okay, now you lost 500 bucks. Now you double your bet, you bet 1,000. Let's say it hits red. Now you have made 1,000 and you've lost 500 from the, the first round, so you've made 500. Okay, now you walk away. Let's say it hits black twice. Now you bet the third time, you would bet 2,000. All right, so now if you hit red, you gain the 2,000 and then you lost 1,000 and you lost 500, so you gained 500. So you see in each of these rounds, basically the strategy goes, that you can play multiple rounds and you are winning that initial bet amount, okay, as long as you don't hit the table maximum. So I hope that makes sense. So basically what happened last night is I played this strategy and it hit black the first time, doubled the bet, hit black the second time, we were betting red, it hit black second time, doubled the bet again, hit black again, doubled the bet again, and hit black again. Now, <laughs> so all the money was gone. But the point is, it was still a winning strategy and that particular situation, like that, the odds of that happening are like 6%, okay? So, but the girl I was with, I like, didn't understand that. She's like, oh, like, you, like I thought you were good at this. And I had only planned to go two rounds. You can like set like a stop loss principle. It's like your odds are like 45% the first time. It's like close to 75% that you'll hit it. You'll hit the one you bet on within two rounds. It's like 80, I'm just throwing out rough math here. It's like 87% that you'll hit it one of the first three rounds, and it's like close to 95% that you'll hit it one of the first four rounds, okay? So I had close to a 95% chance of winning the amount of the initial bet on one of those four rounds, okay? But I didn't, so I hit that 5% chance. And she's like, what are you doing? Like, I thought, I thought you knew what you were doing with this. Okay, and the same thing happens with poker, where you can make a high probabilistic bet, and someone catches that last card. For those of you who don't know, Texas told them, there's like three cards initially, then a fourth card and a fifth card. And then basically someone can like outdraw you by when the fourth or fifth card comes, but their odds might be five or 10% to win. Now, let's say they do hit that five or 10% chance. Most people that don't understand math and statistics and probabilities are gonna be like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have bet or oh, I shouldn't have went in. I'll take that bet every time, as should anyone else. Reason, be same with the roulette thing. The reason being, in the long run, okay, 90 times out of 100, you're gonna win that, okay? So if you're getting over a 50% chance, in the long run, you'll make money. So how does this translate into game and pickup? The point is, and I'm, <laughs> I apologize that this is all like confusing math probability. The point is, if you make strong probabilistic moves in the game, okay, with seduction, with pickup, if you are doing things that usually lead to a high expectation of success, okay, that's going to bring you success in the long run. Okay, if we look at like the top poker players in the world, or if we look at like the top pick parts in the world like myself, with, with poker first, are they winning every hand? No, they're not. Are they winning every session? No, they're not. Are they up every week? No, they're not. But the, the same people are consistently making it far along in the tournament. The same people are consistently making millions of dollars in a year. That doesn't mean you're up every session. That doesn't mean you're up every week. Okay, and the same thing is with seduction and game. I can't guarantee that I'm gonna pull a girl when I go out. Okay, it's impossible. This is, you can't guarantee, like guys come out of my programs and like, or they wanna come out of my programs sometimes and they're like, can you guarantee that I'll bring home a nine? Or can you guarantee that I'll bring home any girl? And I'm like, no, I can't. I will give you the tools to optimize your chances and optimize your probabilities of bringing a girl home, okay? And that's the lesson here. Good game and good skill, whether it be in poker or chess or sales or pickup and game is, making strong high probability moves that are gonna yield a whole bunch of results over time. Okay, so that's what you wanna be doing. And this ties into inner game mindsets of guys getting deflated. Guys think they're all, they should just always be getting success and they can't deal with a rejection. They can't deal with a girl not answering their texts. They can't deal with a girl flaking on a date. They can't deal with a rotation girl dropping off or a girlfriend breaking up with them. The thing is, this has ups and downs, right? But in the long run, you are going to prevail. You're going to have the rotation of your dreams, the girlfriend of your dreams, 
the dating life of your dreams in general if you are making the correct strong probability, high probability moves, okay? So that's what I teach on my channel. That's what I teach in my live programs. That's what I teach in my digital products, okay? Speaking of live programs, they are very close to capacity. If you have any interest at all, okay, we're starting Vegas next week. We'll put up the graphic here. <laughs> so I'm grabbing some boobs. We'll put up the graphic here on the screen. Take a look at these dates. We're doing two weekends in Vegas. There's also guys signed up for a 10 day and a seven day in Vegas. Okay, you have the option for a 10 day, seven day, or a three day on either of the first weekend or the second weekend. Then you have Los Angeles, then Miami, then New York, and then London, okay? We don't have exact plans for the summer where we're gonna be touring, we're gonna be teaching. Okay, so if you are interested in any of these and you happen to live in the United States, we even have people traveling from different continents. We have people from Australia and from Asia and from South America flying into the US to take these programs, okay? So if you are interested in any of these programs, it doesn't matter if you live in the city or near the city, if you're interested, contact me ASAP at johnnyanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. We can go over details, we can go over pricing, but spots are very limited at this point and we are not going to overload and overbook these programs, okay? So make sure you contact me as soon as possible if you are indeed interested. So last thing I'll say is don't get your expectations too out of whack, okay? Guys think that every girl should be receptive when they open. They think that every girl should wanna go home with them or every girl should wanna give their number or every girl is gonna to respond to their texts or show up for dates. No, flaking is a thing. Girls not being interested is a thing. Girls not liking you or you not being their type is a thing, okay? Girls falling off or just, there's so many th external things out of your control. The point is to do what you can to control what you can, and that's what game is. That's why this is a skill game. You are doing high probability, optimized and efficient and effective moves, okay, that are proven to lead to results, that are proven to yield the outcomes that you are looking for, okay? so. Do not get upset when that girl rejects you. Do not get upset when a flake happens. Do what you can to optimize and maximize those probabilities and then let the chips fall where they may. Okay, it's a suitable little gambling and casino analogy here. Okay, I told that girl, I was like, I would have played that the exact same way every time. Okay, or in poker, like if someone catches that last card and you lose thousands of dollars, I would still play it the exact same way. Okay, it's not relevant to the math and to the probabilities how the thing ends up. Okay, it only matters if you're making strong moves that will lead to good results most of the time. And that's what my channel is about. That's what pickup and game and skill is about. Okay, so I hope that kind of makes sense. Analogy, I hope it wasn't too confusing. If you like this video, please press the like button below. Make sure you subscribe for five new videos a week, as well as my YouTube lives on Sunday. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.